Hey y'all, it's your girl in these chatter. I know I ain't been putting out videos like I want to. That's probably been like a good three, two, three, four weeks, a month before I even put a video out. But I promise y'all this week I'm gonna be pushing out videos. I have one in the process of one in the process of being made. And like I'm you know, you know when you do editing software, it has to make the video and it's gonna upload itself on YouTube. And I'm direct loading this, so hopefully the whole video will come up. But I'm about to show you this style. This is another style video. I guess I call this the first one. Where it comes first? This is the first one or second one. Um, you know, it's winter time. So, main thing you need to make sure you remember for women is protection, protection, protection. It's not summer anymore. Let me take this out. Sometimes, you know, you can wear your ha hair out as much as you want to. You know, but winter time, depending on where exactly you have winter, like, you know, up north you have a harsh winter, south, we still have some harsh winters, not as bad as up north but, cold air and everything doesn't like our hair doesn't like cold air, and you also need to make check your products that you're using, like, I know I don't use burnt sugar parmate but, from what I found out, is a humidative twister, so that is something you do not want, you need to stay away from humidity and glycerin and all this stuff during winter time because humidity is designed to take the moisture out the atmosphere and dry it in your hair. Usually in the winter time, since winter months are drier, it's going to actually take the moisture out of your hair and put it in the air. You know, that's quite the opposite effect that you want. So just check your products, just know if you're newly natural, know that, like I said, stuff that you use for the summer you really can't use for the winter and it's protection. If your hair is getting longer, got, uh, like you did your big chop in the fall, not fall, yeah, fall, summer months or whatever, you know, now your hair probably, your hair might be touching your, touching your coats and stuff now. If not, even if you've been a, there for a year, now your hair is touching your jackets and stuff. And you gotta be mindful of that because the constant friction, hold on, recording, the constant of your, the constant friction your hair is created by rubbing on this thing, like, your clothes and stuff. I don't know y'all can see this. But y'all see what I'm saying? Like the constant pictures that your ends get from rubbing on your clothes and on your wool hats and everything can cause end damage. So you need to be mindful of that. A good tip to use, um, when you still want to wear like your like your hair you got your hair in a twist and you want to wear your beanies and your hats and your scullies and all that stuff. Wear a satin your satin bonnet or um a satin scarf underneath it to help protect it. There's like, you know, so you know, just think about like when you go to bed, you know, think about like that is your pillow. Like the hat and stuff is kind of like your bare pillow that doesn't have a set if you don't have a satin pillowcase or you don't wear your satin car. So you don't want to, the winter months come, you try to protect your hair and everything. The summer come, you're trying to wear it out and your ends all messed up. You got to get all this hair cut off. So now, so just be careful with that. So anyway, I think that's the most winter tips I can think of to tell you. Um, some styles. This is a style you could do. Um, this is my little twist, half twist style. I kind of twisted up. Not really that much different. But that's basically it. I need to do this part right here again because it, it don't look that cute. But yeah, just twist half, twist half of it up, have the other side out. I use my normal style. I use Eco Styler Gel. Um, Eco Styler Gel, that's, I don't really, I don't like it that much, but it, it does it does its job. You, if you need a good holding gel, you go style the gel because you have to go. Um, after when I get some time, cause I just started working, and when I finish with school, cause it's towards the end of semester. When I finally do get a break, I will be putting my yarn breaks in. I love them things. I got my yarn cut. I just want to go back my mouth. Sorry. But I got my yarn cut and ready. I bought the little smallest bra is Red Heart. You look at the jumbo size. Look at the little neck size. I have the neck size. Um, that should be enough. So I just wrapped around two legs of the chair. It's gonna be to like right here. You can't see what I'm talking about. It's gonna be like at my boob area, my boob line area, back, back went, I mean, back bra line. Cause I like them long like that. They look cute. And I like them cause they look like dreads. You can get your micros going. Just be careful if you go to the acting folks, just be careful. You know, they like to braid your brains. So just know, don't be afraid to speak of like, hey, you pulling my hair too tight. Or even, just make sure, just protect your, your edges. You don't want to have a whole bunch of tightness and your hairline just slowly disappearing. So yeah, basically, that's some, basically my winter tips. I wasn't even trying to give y'all winter tips, but it just came out like that. So that's basically it. So 
Y'all stay tuned. My videos. I'm missing the earring. Just realized it. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned to videos, and I will try to push out as many as I can. All the ones I still gonna push out. So some of these coming up may be old, some may be new. I try to set a date. So I love y'all. Hello to all my new subscribers. Hello to my old ones. I love all y'all. Peace, love. Oh, yay.